Riverine Premium Beef for your unparalleled eating experience is produced from carefully selected prime quality cattle that are raised in the lush, temperate Riverine region of Australia. The cattle that meet the rigorous Riverine standard are grain fed for 100 days and graded under the Meat Standards Australia grading system to ensure the brand delivers on its eating quality promise. Now what I've got here is I've got a lovely piece of beef shin. Shin's also cut laterally as also buco, so same sort of cut. Shin's absolutely perfect for slow cooks, casseroles, stewing, and it's particularly fantastic for this cut and the dish we're going to do. When you're cooking a ragu or a slow cook casserole or a stew, I always recommend to people to cook it from the one primal. Now when we talk about the one primal here, I've got one shin, uh, one piece of shin. It's all from the same muscle group, so it's all from the same primal. But another thing to remember is try to keep the sizes as uniform as possible. By keeping your sizes uniform, it's going to cook out at the same rate and you're not going to get any overcooked or undercooked pieces. So we're going to warm up that pot, add a little bit of oil in there, and then pop a little bit of beef in. And what you want to hear is that lovely sizzle. If it doesn't sizzle, your pot's not hot enough, best to take your meat out and start again, warming it up a bit. All right, so it's sizzling away. Give it a good whack of cracked pepper in there. Lovely. And we're going to give it a bit of a bit of sea salt flakes here as well. Now we're just going to move that beef around and sear it off nicely. What we're after is a lovely golden brown colour. Put a little bit more of that lovely cockatoo grove olive oil in there. I'm just going to get a couple of cloves of garlic and give them a bit of a knock and just fold them out of there out of their skins like that. I'm just going to drop them in so that they can impart maximum flavour into this ragu. Next up we need some onion. Onion and garlic are what you might hear chefs refer to as their aromats for the dish. Just peel the skin off those. We're just going to cut them up a little bit, a little bit rough and rustic. It's a nice one to get on during the day and have it cook away and make the house smell like casserole basically. We're also going to put in some chopped tomato. I've got some zucchini to go in there also. I'm just going to dice up fairly large. Into the pot I'm going to add some tomato paste. Stir that through as well. We're going to add a splash of red wine. In with the vegetables. Bang them in there. And what we're going to do, I'm going to teach you a couple of little tricks with this one. A couple of little chef's tricks you might not have used before. Right, while that's sauteing away, I'm going to drop in a parmesan husk. Now this is off some Italian parmigiana. We're just going to throw that in there. We've peeled away all the parmesan for other stuff, but we've got this little bit of waxy parmesan that's got a load of flavour. We're just going to toss that in there and cook it out in the ragu, which is going to impart a lovely parmesan-like flavour without really giving it a cheesiness. In with some crushed tomatoes, and that's going to form the body of the dish. Now another little secret ingredient here is I'm going to add one of my little friends there, maybe two couple of little anchovies. What happens with the anchovies in this ragu is it cooks for you know one two hours if you're doing it in a slow cooker four five six hours the anchovies break down but what they do is they leave a, a really lovely salty proteiny like flavour that remains. So give it the give it the anchovies for a bit of salt a little bit of beef stock in there. Okay so once that's all in 
we're going to give it a good whack of cracked black pepper on with the lid set that down really low and then we're going to cook that out for a couple of hours okay so let's have a look and see how that beautiful ragu is shaping up mmm smells awesome okay that's looking terrific and it smells great what I'm going to do is just finish that off with some marinated olives and a bit of a stir through and then we'll just serve that up you can serve it with some rice or some potatoes or mashed potatoes or anything you like really but in this case I've just got some rice in there make sure you dig out the chunks they're the best bits Get some olives on top the chef wouldn't be a chef without a bit of green somewhere there so there we've got a lovely Italian style beef ragu 